So we have been talking a lot about proportional relationships. Uh, so now we're going to take those proportional relationships and uh, start talking about some slope. Now, in general, like when you hear slope of a line, you're usually talking about how steep it is. Okay, is it flatter? Is it, you know, closer to vertical? Okay, you think of a ski slope, okay? Um, but with our proportional relationships, especially with these real world problems that they represent, that slope actually represents something. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. Uh, and then I'm going to have a separate video that's just more so this is how you find slope. Okay, so for this first example, we have Jack graphs how far he plans to bike over a three-day charity ride, find the slope of the line. So we're looking at this graph, we see it's a straight line, we see it goes through the origin. Okay, so this is a proportional relationship. Now, slope is going to be rise over run. Okay, rise is the vertical change. Okay, I'm going to actually write this down here. So slope is rise over run, write this down. Okay, it's the vertical change. over the horizontal change. And vertical change is talking about how things are going up or down. So we're talking about up and down and then left and right. Okay, so we're gonna choose two points from our graph. They get to give us a couple points to choose from. And it looks like they use the 260 and the 390. Now I will say, I don't exactly like how they drew their little lines in there. Because I would probably look at this and say, okay, we're starting at 260 and going up to that 390. And when we're doing our slope, we always want to go up or down first. To me, it kind of looks like they went right and then up. So I'm going to kind of ignore what they did there. Um, so I'm going to start at my point and see like how much did it rise? Well, the Y value right here was 60. Okay. It's going up to 90. So as we go up, the rise was 30. Okay, always look at the numbers on the axes if they don't give you the numbers right next to the ordered pairs. Okay, but this one has a Y value of 60. This one has a Y value of 90. It went up 30. From there, we kind of start where we left off and we're going to go over to where our other point is. Here, the X value was two. And even though we're going over two boxes, the other point has an X value of three. So the run is actually one. It went from two to three. And 30 over one is just 30. So the slope of that line is 30. Okay, now what does that mean in this case? Keep in mind, you know, we said this means something. So if it was the vertical change or the horizontal change, okay, I'm gonna throw another one in there too. So it's the change in the Y's. So many ways to talk about slope. Change in Y's over the change in the X's, okay? So the Y's, if we look at that axis, axis, not axis, if we look at that axis, the Y values are the miles. So the miles, and on the bottom it says days, and we know that the slope was 30. So essentially Jack plans to ride 30 miles each day. That's what that is telling us. Okay. We could have also used some other points. Now, you don't have to write this down, but just to show you, if I had started at this point down here at the bottom and I had gone up to that one at the top, I would have gone up from 30 as a Y. I don't know why this one doesn't write. There you go. 30 to 90. So our change would have been 60. And then from X of one to an X of three would be two. And that still equals. 30. I could have used the first and the second point where starting from 30 going to 60, that's up 30. And then again, over one. So no matter what points you use, as long as you're simplifying things in the end, they should work out to be the same thing. And the next question says, how do the unit rate and constant proportionality relate to the slope of the line? Well, we just figured out the slope was 30. Okay, let's go through our steps that we use when we are learning how to find the constant of proportionality from a graph, which is take any of the points. Okay, we have three of them. So I know let's just use this. Well, we'll use this 260. And we said an ordered pair has an X and a Y. 
But when we write our constant of proportionality, it's y over x. So that'd be 60 over 2, which happens to equal 30. Now, this does not happen for every single type of line, okay? But specifically in proportional relationships, okay, the slope and the constant proportionality or the slope and the unit rate, they're all going to be the same thing. So slope equals our cop which equals our unit rate, okay? Okay, we're gonna do graphs where the doesn't go through the origin and then we can't use that anymore, okay? We can still find the slope, but it's not gonna be the same as uh, the unit rate because there actually won't be a unit rate there. Okay, going down to the next example, we have a graph represents the depth of a diving submarine over time. At what speed is the submarine descending? Okay, so we have two points, okay, so once, uh, like this one here, they went down first, so we said slope is rise over run, so up or down, and then left and right, so here, they started at this point, which was at 5, negative 400, and we're going down to this point over here, which is 10, negative 800, so it's rise, it went from negative 400 to negative 800, okay, it went down 400, and since it went down, we need to make sure we include that negative with our rise, okay? So our rise was negative 400, and then it went from a time of five to a time of 10, so that would be five, okay? And that would be a negative 80 if we divided it. But it's not just saying what's the slope, it's saying what's the speed. So we found the slope, but once again, need to look at the axes to see what's happening here. The Y was feet, the X was minutes, they put it at the top. <laughs> and then from there, we know that it's going to be negative 80 feet per minute. And as soon as you have like a certain distance for a certain amount of time, that is a speed. So our answer here is negative 80 feet per minute. Okay, and the last one. The graph shows the distance a car travels over time. Find the slope of the line. What does it mean in the problem situation? So we have our two points. Okay, it's proportional, goes to the origin. Okay, we could, you know, find the constant proportionality, but we'll just practice doing our slope. So here it's at 110 and it's going up to 220. So our rise, they went up 110. And then our run, uh, the X value here is two, the X value here is four, it went over two. And if we divide that, it ends up being 55. Okay, and looking at our units, we have the Y is miles, the time is hours. So our units would be miles per hour. And this is talking about a car. So this is saying that the car traveled at a speed of 55 miles per hour. Okay, so slope up and down first, then left or right, right or rise over run, and look at those axes to see what the Y and the X uh, units are. And that's gonna tell you what units are really corresponding to this slope that you're getting here.